Welcome. In response to the COVID-19 pandemic, CET was approved to offer temporary distance education for currently enrolled trainees. We are thrilled to be able to offer this as a way for you to continue your progress towards your hopes and dreams. Below is a detailed plan for how it will work. However, please note that this plan may be subject to change as conditions surrounding the pandemic continue to change. We've done the best we can to quickly convert CET's operations to a distance format but it's highly likely that you'll see us adding and changing things over time. We ask for your patience, flexibility, and adaptability as this occurs. We're all navigating this unprecedented experience together. Before we get into details, we want to ensure that we're being transparent about what this opportunity is and what it is not. In order for you to make an informed decision about whether opting into CET distance education is the best option for you. Please consider the following questions before making your decision. How long will distance education be in effect? At this time, distance education will continue through April 20th, 2020, but may be extended if the situation surrounding the COVID-19 pandemic necessitates it. Can I continue with distance education permanently if I like? CET's approval to offer distance education is temporary. We will be resuming in-person skill training at CET as soon as it is safe to do so. At that time, the CET distance education option will expire. It will not be an option to remain in distance education once we are able to physically go back to CET. Can I do distance education on my own time? As an accredited program, CET must follow the rules of our licensure, accreditor, and the U.S. Department of Education. Although we have been approved to temporarily offer distance education, we must still remain our clock hour status. The distance education opportunity is not the same as other online classes you may have taken at other institutions. You will be required to participate during the hours of 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday through Friday. What do I have to have to participate in distance education? At the bare minimum, CET distance education will require that you 1. Schedule the availability to participate from 9 a.m. until 4 p.m. Monday through Friday. 2. A way to communicate at least three times per day with CET staff. For trainees without access to a computer or Wi-Fi, CET is preparing paper packets containing learning resources, assignments, and tests. Those with computers will have access to curriculum materials via Google Classroom. What if I cannot or do not want to do distance education? CET knows that this will be a challenging time as many in our community are facing loss of work or new childcare issues as a result of school and daycare closures. If you feel that you do not have the ability to participate for any reason, it is completely okay. We can issue a leave of absence so that you can maintain good standing with enrollment and return once classes resume in person. I'm on KTAP or participate in a SNAP and ENT program. Do my hours count? Participating in CET distance education will be counted in the same way that your physical participation at CET normally is. Currently, leave of absence related to COVID-19 will be honored by the Department of Community-Based Services and good cause will be granted. If you choose to participate in distance education, any leave of absence issued due to COVID-19 will end. It is advised that you switch to distance education only if you can fulfill all the attendance and participation expectations. If I don't participate, what will happen? If you have already requested a leave of absence because of the COVID-19 outbreak, you're good to go. Your LOA will end once we are able to resume in-person instruction. If you do not communicate your need for an LOA and do not engage in distance education, you will be withdrawn in accordance with CET's attendance policy. Please refer to your training catalog. Please reach out to CET staff to either request a leave of absence 
or confirm your intent to participate in distance education. What if I was already on LOA for another reason besides COVID-19? All LOAs issued for situations other than COVID-19, maternity or other health matters, will not be affected and will continue until the date originally agreed upon. If your leave of absence or LOA expires during the time frame that CET's distance education program is in effect, you have two options. One, you can return to CET using distance education, or two, you can request a new COVID-19 LOA to cover the duration of time until in-person skill training resumes. Staff will reach out as your LOA draws to a close to discuss your options. If I'm not participating in distance education, can I still access Brighton Center resources? Absolutely. Brighton Center is committed to meeting the needs of our community, especially in these difficult times. Even if you choose to remain on LOA, please reach out to CET staff if you need food, clothing, or any other type of emergency assistance. For any resources typically accessed through Brighton Center's Family Center, please email, Google Voice, or call your request in before 4.30 on Mondays or Wednesdays. Requests received by these times will be available for pickup in the lobby of CET every Tuesday and Thursday from 10 a.m. until 12 p.m. On a limited basis, CET staff may also be able to deliver to your home if you are unable to pick up at CET. Please include this information in your request. CET is committed to making distance education accessible to as many trainees as possible. We know not everyone has access to a computer or Wi-Fi and can accommodate trainees without this technology by preparing printed work packets. There are, however, some basic technological requirements. If you do not have the minimum technological requirements, CET will continue to issue a COVID-19 LOA until in-person instruction resumes. Also, we are happy to assist you in exploring whether you qualify for phone and internet resources. At a minimum, all trainees must have access to a working telephone and access to Wi-Fi or a cell phone with minutes. The preferred option would be to have access to a computer or tablet with internet access. If you are going to be utilizing work packets and calling in and checking in through your telephone, you must have a camera on your phone in order to submit work. CET's distance education schedule will run Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. until 4 p.m. Lunch for all skill divisions will be from 12 until 1. Please note that our day has been extended by a half hour to accommodate an hour long lunch. This is because we know that many trainees may have added things on their plates, such as running errands or caring for children. We will continue to offer six possible clock hours daily. Like always, if you need to clock in early or leave early, please communicate with your skill team. Attendance. CET continues to be a clock hour program. You must be able to participate from 9 a.m. until 4 p.m. Unfortunately, it is not an option for you to do your assignments at other times throughout the day, such as in the evening. If you are unable to virtually be present during these times, please consider continuing your COVID-19 LOA until CET resumes in-person instruction. Although we are now able to offer temporary distance education in response to the COVID-19 pandemic, our creditor still requires that we are able to confirm clock hour participation. Daily attendance check-ins. For your attendance to be recorded, you must communicate with CET staff at each of the three check-in points described in this video. If you fail to check in, you will be signed out and will gain absent hours. Staff will do their best to track you back to your last documented communication in order to award as many present hours as possible. However, it is your responsibility to ensure that you are checking in as outlined in this video. 
check in one. Start of day at 9 a.m. CET staff will send a daily welcome email and Google voice message each morning. In order to be considered signed in, you must reply with a message outlining your goals for the day. If you are not able to respond via email or Google Voice, you will need to call in by phone at 9 a.m. each morning. Goals may include the following. Independent academic progress, directly communicating with staff regarding assignments, directly communicating with staff to connect with resources or stabilization. Check in two, after lunch at one o'clock. CET staff will send out an email in Google Voice to bring CET back into session after lunch. This email may include further instructions for the remainder of the day. Trainees are required to respond to be signed back in from lunch. Any trainee who does not respond will be signed out at 12 o'clock for the day. If you are not able to respond via email or Google Voice, you will need to call in to your instructor by phone. End of day check-in, 4 o'clock p.m. CET staff will send a daily wrap-up email. Trainees must reply by 4.15 p.m. with a summary of the progress they made on their goals set at the beginning of the day. Assignments may be turned in via Google Classroom, email, or by taking and sending a photo of your completed worksheets or packet. Academic progress and engagement. Just like when we're in person at CET, you achieve satisfactory status for your quarterly satisfactory academic progress or SAP review by meeting both attendance and curriculum progression requirements. Although you must submit enough work to maintain satisfactory status, we know that learning is about more than simply knocking out assignments and tests. For this reason, there are other ways that you can demonstrate your engagement during the time when distance education is in effect. You may demonstrate your engagement and progress during your daily attendance check-ins or through one-on-one -on -one communication with your instructor. During distance education, you must complete at least one of the following activities per day to demonstrate engagement. One, submit assignments or tests. Two, email, Google Voice, call CET staff with questions about assignments. Three, send instructor progress report via email or a photo attachment of work in progress. Four, Directly work with staff on overcoming barriers. Five, engage with the financial wellness coach. And six, send a detailed progress report during check-in at the end of the day. Progress and engagement are critical to your overall participation and progress towards your goals. And CET will continue to uphold the normal SAP requirements surrounding attendance and curriculum progression. Staff will also monitor engagement and progress and may work with you one-on-one -on -one if your progress is falling short of SAP benchmarks. Communication with staff. You will receive communication from only one email account during distance education. CET staff will all have access to your skill division's email. So when you reply, all members of the team can work to assist you. It is very important that you only email through your skill division's email address. Please do not send individual staff emails. Brighton Center is part of the regional response to COVID-19, and some CET staff will temporarily be working in different programs to fill critical needs. Therefore, communicating through the new skill division email is the best way to ensure that your email or need is viewed by CET staff to support CET distance education. Curriculum access. Staff will be sending out login information specific to your skill division. Please be on the lookout for this information via email. 
Generally speaking, you'll utilize the same online tools for distance education as you would when at CET. Google Classroom, ClassMarker, Accenture, SimChart, SAM, and so on will all be utilized. If you specify to CET staff that you needed paper packets, this will contain the required information you need to progress. Please contact CET staff if you have not received your materials. Other materials may be sent out periodically via the daily emails from CET staff. For trainees without internet or computer access, alternate arrangements will be made to connect trainees to the same materials. If you have any questions or concerns, please contact CET staff at the number listed in this video.